Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Zotero, a free and open source citation manager, to keep track of your search results when conducting literature searches. In this video, I will introduce Zotero's features and show you how you can use Zotero to stay organized during a literature search. Then I will show you how to export your search results from PubMed and Silmind Search and how to import those results into Zotero. So what is Zotero? Zotero is an open source citation manager, meaning it is completely free for everyone. I like to use Zotero because all the features are available without paying for anything, and you can use Zotero regardless of where you work or study in the future. Citation managers are programs that collect and organize your citations, making it easier for you to keep track of your research without having to constantly research the databases or have tons of bookmarks. In addition to keeping everything in one place, Zotero allows you to create folders and organize your citations to help you work productively. So if we open Zotero, you can see that it is essentially a series of folders that you can nest and organize as you see fit for your various research projects. Within each folder, you can have a collection of citations you have added to the folder and have subfolders within folders, allowing you to organize at whatever level of granularity fits your research project and work style. You can create new folders by clicking on the yellow folder icon in the top left. Once inside a folder, you can click on the green plus icon above title to add a new citation manually. You usually won't need to do this, but it can be helpful if you have a weird citation that the automated tools can't handle. More often, you will use the wand icon to the right of this one. This wand icon allows you to enter a URL, PubMed ID, or DOI of an article or website to automatically import an article citation info. For example, I'll put in the PubMed ID for an article, and you'll see it automatically fill in all the details. Within a citation, you have the option to add notes by clicking on a citation and then clicking on the Notes tab on the right side of the page. You can also add notes by clicking on the yellow sticky note icon, in case you want to keep track of any notes that aren't tied to a specific citation. Lastly, you can use the paperclip icon to add the full text of an article to the citation. You have the option of adding URLs or stored copies of the PDFs, so that you don't need to leave Zotero to get the full text of the article. I highly recommend adding the PDFs of articles, as you can open them directly in Zotero, which allows you to highlight and annotate the articles right in the app. Now that you have an idea of how to use Zotero, I'll demonstrate how you can export your search results from various databases and import them into Zotero, rather than having to add them one at a time. Let's start in PubMed. After running a search, you have the option to export the entirety of your search results or just a subsection. If you only want to save some of the articles from your search, click on the checkmark icon next to the articles of interest, and then click on the Send To button above the search results, then click on Citation Manager. Here you have the option to select all the results on the page, all the articles in the search, or the selection. Then click on the Create File button and save the file. Next, I'll show you how to export results from Still One Search. After running a search in Still One Search, you will see a blue folder icon to the right of each article in the search. Just like with PubMed's checkboxes, you'll want to click on this icon for each article you want to save. Once you've selected a few articles, scroll up to the top of the page and click on Folder on the right hand side of the page you will see that this folder has all the articles we just selected from our search results. Next, click on the Export button on the right-hand side of the page. In the Option menu on the right, select the Direct Export in RIS format option, then click on the Save button on the left. Here you'll note that we have this option to do a direct import using the Zotero plugin. In this case, we're not going to use it, and we'll download the file directly. Now let's go back to Zotero. Click the File button on the upper left of the page, and then on Import. Then click your way through this dialog box and select the file we just downloaded from PubMed. Continue working your way through this wizard, and you'll see that a new folder was created with all the articles we saved from PubMed. You can right-click the folder to give it a new name, and also click and drag the folder around to organize it however you would like. 
you would follow the exact same process for importing the file we downloaded from Sil1 Search. While I'm not going to go into detail about them in this video, note that Zotero also has a web version that you can use to connect to your citations um, without having anything installed on your computer, so long as you make a Zotero account and sync those accounts on all your devices. Zotero also has a browser plugin that allows you to quickly add citations from the browser without having to switch over to the Zotero app. You can find more info on all these features from on Zotero's website at zotero.org. Zotero also has plugins that allow you to automatically add and format citations for a paper while using Google Docs. You can hear Zotero tab here or in Microsoft Word. The last thing to know is that there is a process you can use to bulk import PDFs of articles without having to manually attach them for each citation. This is a bit complicated to do, so if you would like help setting that up or help with any other aspect of Zotero, feel free to reach out to your liaison librarian.